What's up, everybody? Happy Saturday. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. The weekend is over, and it is time to just relax and have some fun. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. I had a gentleman leave a couple comments on my videos a while back asking what my color scheme was. So if we go launch a terminal here and zoom in, let's CD into my bash directory. If I do an LA, you can see my bash RC here is in my home config bash, bash RC. So let's vim into my dot bash RC. Um, nope, not bash R, <coughs> bash RC. And there we go, this is my color scheme. It's got kind of the teals and the whites and the gray and this purpley color. I'm gonna change the color of the gutter here. I don't like that bright that bright line down the side there, but for the most part, I'm, I'm happy with this color scheme. I might change the color of the comments uh, from this purple to maybe a blue or a uh, green. I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure I'm happy with the purple, but for now, we'll just leave it at that. If I go into visual mode somewhere, uh, you can see everything that I highlight in visual mode is red. Um, so it stands out for me. And so that's it. That's my color scheme. Um, the gentleman thought it was nice. Um, I appreciate that. I like it. I like the looks of it. I like the way it kind of meshes. So <clears throat> I, uh, I'm happy with it. So he wanted to know what the name of it was. And well, the name of it is Jake.Vim. And so let's go ahead and go check out the color scheme and I'll show you how I wrote it. So let's go ahead and quit out of here. And if you're in Vim like I'm in, um, your color schemes are going to be located in your .vim directory. So if we cd home and then we cd into .vim, you can see homejake.vim. If I do an ls, you can see I've got colors right here. We'll cd into colors. Do an LS again, and these are all my color schemes right here. Now, I don't use 99.9% .9 of these because, well, basically I use Jake, but I had all these on here for a while because I was going through before I knew how to create my own and just picking out of here. But now that I know how to create my own to match my system colors and my desktop wallpaper, um, I like doing this way better. I mean, see, before I was basically trying to find a desktop wallpaper or whatever that matched a certain color scheme. Like, okay, I'm, I want this color scheme, so now I've got to find stuff that matches that. And while that's all well and good, there's a lot of great wallpapers out there that you look at and it's like, well, those don't really go with any particular color scheme. <clears throat> so what's the solution to that? Well, you create your own color scheme. And they're actually easier than you might think to create. Now, you can get crazy with them and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But for me personally, I just need a Vim color scheme that works in the terminal. I only use terminal-based Vim. I don't use GVim. I don't use a GUI of any time. So I don't need to have it work in GUI. So basically, I just needed a 256 color scheme for Vim. And so I came up with one. And I'm gonna show you how I came up with this and we're gonna start the beginnings of writing one so you guys can get an idea of how to do this if you wanna do it yourself. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at um, how you would do it. So we're gonna Vim and we're gonna create one called mycolor.vim. So this is, uh, this is how you'd start it. You'd be in your home.vim colors directory and you create a file called whatever you wanna name it, .vim. Um, so we're going to call this mycolor.vim, we're going to hit enter, and first thing you're going, going to want to do is go into insert mode and you're going to type let, and then you're going to go g colon colors underscore name equal, and then in parentheses you're going to put the name of your color scheme. Well our file is mycolor, so it would be mycolor, and then you're going to close that, and that's going to be the first line of your vim color scheme. <clears throat> now once you're here you might wonder, well what the heck do you do? There's all kinds of different things you can have in your color scheme and all different kinds of elements of text and everything. Well, the way, the way I went about it was, if we jump over to my second workspace here, I found this page called vimdoc.sourceforge.net forward slash HTML doc forward slash syntax dot HTML. And this kind of gives you an idea of some of the text elements that you can highlight in the syntax when you are creating a color scheme. And if we go right here, you can see these right here are a lot, not all that, not all the way down there, but down to here. You can see these, there's quite a few of them here, and these are the basic main ones that you can use to have in your color scheme to highlight. So this is a good starting place to come on here, this uh, vimdoc.sourceforge.net, and then look up syntax, um, and that'll give you a lot of the text elements. That's where I started, and then when I was done with that, I actually just opened up another one of the um, color schemes, kind of went through that and picked other stuff that I saw in that, figured out what the heck it did, and then added it to my color scheme. <clears throat> and then I opened up another one or two of them and kind of just kind of scanned around to see what other people had and figured out what I needed. 
And then from there, I built my color scheme. And so basically, uh, mine is very simple, and I'll show you how we went about doing it. So we added our color name, and the first thing we need to do is do a high, and then do an exclamation point. That's gonna reset any highlighting that is already there. And then it's going to read your scheme into it, basically. That's not the professional explanation of how it works, but that's, you know, that's, <laughs> that's not accurate, but it's accurate, you know, so. So we're gonna do high, and then we're gonna do constant. Once you've got your list, you just pick them, and then you're gonna do, like I said, mine is all terminal based, so I'm gonna do C term, and we're gonna do FG, and we'll do equals, and then six. And if you want background, you do C term BG equals, and say 232. And that right there will highlight anything that's a constant, and it will highlight it with six which i believe is teal in the 256 let's go back over to workspace 2 let's open another tab and let's do hex to 256 cheat sheet and yep six is the teal 232 is going to be a very dark gray i believe so let's scroll down uh 232 is yep dark gray so this right here all constants are going to have a foreground of that teal color with a background of the dark gray so now you just go through and if you really wanted to, you could do high exclamation point and then do the next one like Boolean and then do C term FG equals, say you wanted it the same, six and so you do C term BG equals 232. So now that means both the constant and the Boolean are gonna have the foreground of that teal color with the background of dark gray. Now, say there's about four or five different other things you want in that same color. Well, instead of going down and typing all this out the same way and just, or copying the line and changing everything, all you have to do is anything you want to match this right here, you go and you do a link and say you want a Boolean and then you would do constant. And then you could do high link and say string and do constant. So that means anything you put in here with a link is going to link it to this right here. So anything that you want to look the same as the constant, you link to the constant and it's gonna be the same. So that's one way of going about doing it. The other way is like I said, you could just go through here and you could do high exclamation point um, statement say, and then C term foreground and then 243 and pick your color, not dash equals 243. And then again, C term BG, if you wanted to have a different background, equals 15, 52. I don't know what that is, but I'm just saying. So you go through the 256 colors if you're only doing this for the terminal, and this is basically the format you would use. You do high exclamation point. You don't have to have the exclamation point. The exclamation point actually just takes care of any previous highlighting, gets rid of it, like I said, and then starts yours. You could come up to the beginning of the file here and do something like highlight, um, I think it's highlight clear and you could do syntax reset and then you don't have to have the exclamation point there. Um, I guess I could have done that on mine, but I didn't figure that out until after I had already started. So, um, <clears throat> basically you could go that route instead of having the exc high exclamation point. Um, you could just have the high and leave the exclamation point out of it if you have the highlight clear up here. But, um, I went with the exclamation point just because I had already started that way. So anyway, this is just kind of the basic formatting. Now, if you want to add like a, um, a style, like you want it to be italic or you want it to be bold or you want it to be underlined, once you have the C term foreground and the C term background, then you can do C term and then do space equals and then say you want italic, you would just type italic. If you want bold, you do bold. If you want underline, you do underline. Um, if you want underline bold, you do underline bold, no space. Underline bold italic would be underline bold italic, no space. Um, and that right there is gonna give you underline text, bold text, and italic text that the state is gonna cause a statement, excuse me, to be a foreground of 243, a background of 52, and it's gonna be underlined, bold, and italic. And so that's basically all you gotta do. You just go through and pick each element of text that you want. You define the color for the foreground, the color for the background, and whether you want it to be bold, underlined, or italic, and that's that. 
Um, there's, a, there's a lot of other stuff you can do in your VimRC. That's basically the extent of what I did. I did a couple other things I'll show you here in a second when we actually go through my um, configuration. Um, but that's basically it for a very basic, simple Vim color scheme that looks nice and plays well with your system. Um, this is the way I went about doing it and it's very simple to do it yourself. So let's go ahead and quit. I'm not gonna save this file because I have no reason to. And let's vim into Jake now, and I'll show you what I did. So you can see I've got let g colors e or colon g, let g colon colors name equal Jake, <clears throat> and then I have these colors here all linked to have the foreground of six, which is that teal color. I have all these linked to statement, which has the foreground at 243. Which if we go back over to two here, we can see 243 is kind of that lighter gray color. Um, I have comments set to 60, which is that purpley color, and the comments are actually italic. I have types <clears throat> set to 251, which is an even lighter gray. If we go back over here, we scroll down, you can see 251 is an even lighter gray. Um, and then I have operators to 251 and bold. I have special characters, or special, I have them set to the teal color and italic and I have several things linked to that. And so, and then as you come down here, this is the stuff I just kind of broke up individually that I didn't want linked to anything. A lot of it is the same color as others, but um, I was just going through finally the elements that I were, or that I found in the other, um, other files and stuff and uh, added those in here like this. But basically you can see it's the same format, just the high exclamation point, the element of text you want to address the foreground color, the background color, and then the styling it all if you want it. And that's all you have to do. Um, if we go down here, you can see I've got some stuff for if you're running Vim diff um, or Vim dash D, which is gonna compare the two files. Um, so this is going to define and it's gonna link diff common to statement. So anything diff, anything common in the two files is gonna be the same as statement right up here. So it's gonna be the 243 color. Um, diff removed is going to be matching diff delete which is uh, right here which is going to have a foreground color of one uh, diff changed is going to be matched to diff change diff added to diff add so this is basically for when you're using the vim uh, diff command uh, down here i have signify which has to do with git gutter and if uh, you have anything in the gutter over here as far as if you change or add lines or remove lines in a git file or in a um, version controlled file it will show you a plus or a minus or whatever down in the gutter here and this is going to give you this the colors for that and they're actually uh, linked to a uh, line number which if we look up here uh, somewhere where's line number I know I have it um, let's just do oh, I was right there line and R uh, is 243 and no background. So that's for that. Um, so you can see, uh, oh no, this isn't a Git modified uh, or a version controlled file, so I can't show you on this one. But if we escape and we quit out of here and we CD back into scripts and I vim into like schedule.sh, you can see these, um, these down here on the gutter here. These are version control um, items. So if I come down here and say I add a new line in here, we go into insert mode and we add a couple of lines, you can see we have um, uh, pluses over here showing that we've added lines in here. If we go back out and delete, um, it takes all that away. So that's what that Vim signify stuff is. So that's that that's my color scheme um and how i created it uh, like i said it's pretty simple to do a very basic color scheme that gives you all the functionality that uh that you really need um there's plenty of other stuff you can do and if you're a heavy dev or into development a lot i'm sure there's a lot of other stuff that you're going to want and so this color scheme probably wouldn't be good for you but for me it works great it looks nice and um i'm happy with it so if you want to go ahead and create your own color scheme that's how you'd go ahead and do it um i'm not sure how you would do it if you want to add in gui controls i haven't looked into that yet because i have no need for it um but i'm sure it wouldn't be too hard to find you could look at other color schemes and get the idea of how it works but 
that's that. So that's how you create a color scheme and that's how I came up with mine and why I did it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you can get some use out of it and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to beg for likes here for a second because likes really help out my channel a lot more than you know. So if you feel so inclined, please give me that thumbs up. Uh, help my channel grow if you appreciate the video. Um, and yeah, I appreciate it all. Uh, thanks for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day. Great rest of your evening. Stay safe. God bless.